everyone, it's me QP83 and I have a video here today that features Dion quintuplets. So I thought, because it is getting close to Christmas and all the other wintry holidays, that I would showcase some dolls that were, you know, probably under children's Christmas trees at one point in time. These would have definitely been under some trees back in the mid to late uh, 1930s, probably up to like the mid 1940s. All of these are probably from like 1935 to 1940, I would say. They're produced by Madame Alexander, who had the rights to produce these Dion quintuplet dolls. If you don't know who the Dion quintuplets are, I highly recommend you go and like Google that story. It's one of like, it's a super weird, slightly macabre, very strange tale of the first quintuplets born in Canada. So very briefly, basically these, uh, Quintuplets were born in 1934. They were the first set of quintuplets born in Canada to survive. Um, and very, very early on in life, they became like, uh, custody was given to the Red Cross, and then they became wards of, like, Canada. <laughs> so they became, the custody was given to, to Canada. Uh, and they were taken away from their parents, and they were put in a hospital, which also doubled as basically like a zoo where you could watch them play. Uh, they couldn't see you, but there were like thousands of spectators watching these children like eat and play and do things that normal children do, except these five children were growing up basically in like a hospital slash zoo sort of setup. Super weird, as I said, somewhat macabre, not all of their, their life was not peachy by any means. Um, so look up their story because it's, it's intriguing that this actually happened. <laughs> they literally lived in this hospital till they were like nine and then they were given back to their parents and then like their parents weren't very good so like yeah their their lives were not wonderful but there's a whole line of Madame Alexander Dion Quintuplet dolls that you will see at doll shows and things and the that were definitely popular among the kids and adults and fans of the Dion's back in the 1930s and 40s. So these are a few of the dolls in my collection, also some in my mom's collection as well. So this is a, a group, a group shot of dolls from both of our collections. Um, I don't know specifics on years, there's not a really good reference for the Dion Quintuplet dolls from Madame Alexander. I wish there was. They were sold singly, they were sold in sets of five, they had furniture pieces. Uh, like, like baby seats and things like that, which you'll see in auctions occasionally. Uh, they had different outfits you could buy. There's a whole slew of things that they produced for this line. There's also various sizes of dolls, some with hair, some without, which you'll see right here. So, very, very quickly, we're just gonna go through what is on the table here. So, this one is... Uh, one of the eight inch dolls. She has hair, which you'll see here. It's probably human hair. Probably. Uh, it could also, I don't think it's mohair. I think it's one of like the human hair ones. Um, she's uh, probably composition. She also would have come without, he without hair, I believe. So you might see, you might see both. Or you might see her without hair and it could be because it just came off over the years. So she's one of the eight inch ones. Her outfit is not original. Her shoes and her socks, I believe, are. But the outfit's a reproduction. Then we have this one here, who was the a 12 inch one. So you'll see her right there. 12 inches? I think she's a 12 inch one. I got her at a doll show a while back. There was a booth that had a bunch of different Dion's and they were all in really good shape. And I don't know if they ever came back. Like, I want to say that I never really saw their booth again, but they were really well-priced, and she was just in amazing shape. She didn't need to be touched up or anything, and this was the reproduction outfit that she had when, uh, when I bought her, so I didn't even have to buy an outfit for her, which is really nice. And she has uh, sleep eyes as well. No real hair. It's just painted on, as you could see there. Uh, so this one was in really good shape, especially considering she's like 85 years old, something like that. So we have these two here, which both belong to my mom. Uh, this one is wearing her original tagged outfit, which is fun. Uh, she's basically the only one here, I think, wearing it, maybe besides her, uh, but it is her original coat. So she is whichever one wears pink. They all had different colors. Most of mine inevitably ended up wearing green for like literally, it was not a conscious decision, but 
they ended up all wearing green. Uh, but this one is in an original outfit, painted hair, very cute little Dion baby. And then this one has a stuffed torso and some like hard plastic limbs. Super cute face, adorable like, uh, adorable size too. That one's like the 17 inch size. Uh, and I just think the proportions are really cute. I sent my mom this eBay listing and I was like, you should buy her for yourself. And she did, so yay. Um, we also have another baby here. This was the first, one of the first ones I got. The first two I got were, was this baby and that one. Uh, and this came from a collector who, it was her first owner and she received it as a kid from her dad. And this poor lady was going through dementia. So she had a friend listing stuff on eBay, but of course then I bought this and the poor woman didn't want to sell it anymore. So she was like hiding it around her apartment. And I was like, if the lady wants to keep it, that's totally fine. I'm not going to take it away from her. But in the end, it did get sent here. She was in not wonderful shape. She had definitely had some love over the years. Uh, so she went to the doll doctor and got a facelift or a, a fun little face up. She got a new outfit. She was restrung. Some of the pieces that were missing on her composition were put back together. But yeah, she was well loved by her first owner. So I have taken charge of her to continue loving her. And then we have this one here that was just super cheap at a doll show, but she was also in really bad shape. So she went to the doll doctor, uh, to Dr. Noreen, and Dr. Noreen picked her, uh, fixed her up. She is, I believe, the 14 inch size. And she is supposed to be one of the more like toddler-like dolls. There's a lot of babies here, but she's more of like the, the toddler. And then, oh, and she also has the hair, which I think is also human hair. So I know that's kind of creepy for a lot of people, especially non-doll collectors. But yeah, this was someone's hair at one point in time. Interesting. No spirits attached to it though, so we're good. Uh, also, we have the final one here on the table, which is a rare 24-inch Dion that was just priced really, really well at a doll show. She has some eye things, but it's it's even, so it's fine. Like, it's not, like, like weird eye issues that would bug me. This is fine. She also has really nice paint. She has really nice painted hair. She's in... I don't... It's not tagged as a Dion outfit, but it looks like it's very representative of the Dion line, so who knows? I don't see it tagged though. Um, but definitely this is a really, really adorable example of a Dion. She has a stuffed torso and she's weighted so she can sit. Then she has uh, composition limbs. So her arms and her legs are composition. Uh, and we have her adorable little face. So this is just a, a quick look at some of the Dion's in our collections. Uh, you'll see that there's a lot of variety in terms of sizes and like face looks and hair. So definitely if you are going to a doll show, keep an eye out. These are really great dolls, especially if you like vintage dolls. Um, Cause as I said, they're from 19, like the 1930s, 1940s. So they've seen so much in the time that they've been here. So it's really cool to think of like everything that's happened from the time they were created to 2020. I think that's one of the coolest things about collecting these like older dolls. So let me know if you have any Dion Quintuplets in your collection, uh, if you ever found any under your Christmas tree, and what your favorite is in this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!